Well, hello there. Welcome to another break here from Bounty Hunter Breaks. This is Boba Fett me. And this morning I've got something that was new on the shelf. I actually picked this up yesterday on my way home from work when I stopped to pick up some groceries at my Fred Meyer. They looked like they had a fresh restock. And they had quite a bit of product. Uh, they only had Heritage Blasters, though. No Megas. Uh, I didn't see any Bowman. They did have Donruss, which to me, it's unless you're someone that's a fan of the Hall of Fame and stuff, it does. I suppose it does have prospects in it too, but still, it's not really a highly touted release now where it doesn't have current active players. But yeah, so I decided to pick this up. It was only twenty four dollars, well twenty four ninety nine, and since it's a retailer, it's got the Ray Wave refractors in here and who knows maybe we'll get one of the thompson twins but uh i want to say you probably can get super fractors out of here although the chances are probably slim to none looks like there's only seven packs a box so given it's four cards a pack it's only 28 cards 28 for 25 dollars And, yeah, no, no odds. The only thing I do have on the side of the box are for the <clears throat> NPN. So, again, this is probably one of those products that you got to, there must be a QR code here somewhere. Nope, don't see any QR code. I was going to say there might be a QR code on the box somewhere to scan. I'm not seeing it, and I don't see it on the back of the pack or anything, but something to have fun with. Somto Cyril, Kanan Carlisle, Nasir Cunningham, and that's his rookie. Looks like these are all rookies. That's a nice looking insert. Hurricane. Jazine Gortman. There you Seer Cunningham, Ryan Booley, <clears throat> TJ Clark, and Ralph Martino Jr. I don't know if I showed the backs, but that's the back. Pretty basic, no, no real stats, just a little write up. Brian Tiller. Looks like we have a Ray Wave. Trey Parker. And we have a Nasir Cunningham refractor. And it's nice and clean. I wonder where these were. Doesn't say if it was. I was trying to see if it said printed in Italy or printed in the U.S. T.J. Clark. And Jazir Jackson. Yeah, I was kind of hoping to possibly see some <clears throat> platinum out in the OPG platinum out in the wild, but nope. So we got Bryce Br Bryce Griggs, Ryan Booley, Tyler Bay, and that's a retro design. Zan Almansa. I want to say that's 71, 72, yeah, 72. 
but well centered. And given that the draft was Thursday night, Jalen Lewis, another Nasir Cunningham, Kanan Carlisle, and class of 2023, Sumto Cyril. And I don't know how long this league is going to last, but as I started reading more about it, I think it's a great idea for those players who can't really or aren't able to get to college, but they want to better their game. Jockey Howard, Ellie Ellis, Bryce Griggs. But they actually do take classes and everything. And another Dreamers insert of Jazine Gortman. And our final pack. And this should be the last Ray Wave. <clears throat> Bryson Tiller. There's Thompson, Asar Thompson, and Aman Thompson. So there's both bros. I believe they were both drafted in the first round. That's a nice looking shot. Again, not an action shot or anything, but Bryson Tiller refractor. And our final Ray Wave. Alexander Saar, not a rookie, so somebody who is probably in 2022's Overtime Elite. So, we'll do a quick recap here, such as it is. Looks like I had two different, well, three different inserts. Okay, so out of one blaster, we got two Ray Waves, Alexander Saar and Jazar Jackson. We got two Dreamers inserts, Izan Al Mansa and Jazine Gortman. And I also got a Gortman Hurricane insert, along with a class of 2023. 20, Samto Cyril, and then got two base refractors, Nasir Cunningham and Bryson Tiller. So, I mean, overall, like I say, the, the card quality is in, impressive. I mean, every card is well centered, no defects. I'm not seeing any print lines. So, the thing is, you know, well, there is a little dimple there on that one right on the border, but. Majority wise, clean card. So, uh, I mean, if you're someone that's thinking that some of these players and stuff may get drafted in a year or two, it's it's going to be their first card printed. So, kind of like a first Bowman. But I think it's a nice looking product. Would I buy more? Yeah, maybe. But. Hope you enjoyed this break of 2022-23 Topps Chrome OTE. And hope you all have a great rest of your day. And as always, keep collecting.